All right, folks. What I used was um, some Ospo. I've used Ospo before on doing Corvette frames. Um, it worked pretty good. It's not that expensive. A gallon's about 25 bucks. I think probably 20 years ago I was paying $20 for it, so it hasn't really gone up too much. Um, this has been put on about two hours ago. Oh, I'm probably getting a sun glare on it, you can't really see. But it's already starting to blacken the rust. So, um, try to put it on early so we have lots of dry time. But I'm just going to do it in sections. I'm going to, that section here in the back, which was the worst. And then we're going to go from here forward and do the cleaning on all this stuff. Which isn't real bad here. I'm going to have to remove these, this wood underneath here. I'm going to try to go all the way to the engine compartment, removing the wood and exposing the floor. I really didn't want to tear the rubber off those steps because they're not bad. And I didn't want to tear the rubber out from underneath the seat because yeah, it's fine. I'm sure it's probably got some rusty wood under there, but that lip kind of stopped the water from puddling underneath the driver. Mainly they it puddles back here where they wash out the germs and soak down the floors and it just sits like that forever. But um, that's where we're at on it. I'll come back. You can kind of see the transition there where it's starting to blacken the, the rusty spot. I put it on with a brush nice and heavy. So that's where we're at. We'll come back after it dries. I'm going to put a coat of paint on it. Um, it's almost impossible to find rust oleum <laughs> in a gallon form anymore. So I've got an ace rust stop. Oil base enamel, black gloss. Um, I haven't used it before, but we're going to find out how it works. I mean, it wasn't real expensive 30 bucks for a gallon. Um, if I remember right, rust oleum was about that price when you could get it. Nobody seems to carry it anymore. They don't carry it in stock. The gallons you can buy quarts and half quarts and pints and half pints, but no gallons. Um, you'll find places that will list it and then they're out of stock and they don't have it. So that's where we're at. I might thin it just a little bit because sometimes these paints are super thick. And we want it to absorb as much as possible. Alright, that's where we're at, folks. 93TC2000 Bluebird Project. Y'all have a good day. Oh, yeah, it's 80 degrees so far. It's supposed to be 82 today. Uh, just saying. Y'all have a good day.